What is software engineering? Hello everyone and welcome to our software engineering series. The definition of engineering is the use of scientific principles to design and build machines, structures and other items to achieve a goal. Therefore, software engineering uses scientific principles to design and build software to achieve a goal. The software engineering definition from IEEE is Software engineering 1. The application of a systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operation, and maintenance of software. That is, the application of engineering to software. 2. The study of approaches, as in 1. IEEE 6110.12-90 so, there are many approaches to build software. Each of them should be systematic, which means organized and efficient, disciplined, which means controlled, quantifiable, which means measurable. As we have to study each of those approaches to know which approach to apply to our specific situation. There are many ways to categorize software. Operating systems, drivers, embedded systems, compilers, applications, like desktop, web, mobile, database, media, games, and more. All these can be classified under commercial, open source, shareware, and freeware. Each type of software has its constraints, user base, and size. That's why it needs a particular way of development. Knowledge brings theories and solutions to the table. However, in engineering, not all solutions are necessarily available or applicable to your project's context. This is why engineering's job to develop the best solutions to the situation while being effective and efficient. And your job as a software engineer is to understand the context of your situation or problem and pick the right solution accordingly. Again, don't limit yourself to the current problems you face with your company. There will be a time when you face different problems and you need to be equipped with the right weapons to attack those problems. Software engineering exists to help the software engineer to use powerful and well-accepted techniques for completing everyday tasks among projects, accurately predict cost and schedule to complete our projects, build desirable characteristics in our products like maintainability, reliability, etc., one of the significant differences between software engineering and most other kinds of engineering is that software is not tangible. Your customer will not see the efforts done during designing, coding, and testing the software. You might work for weeks building the software's foundation that the customer can't visually experience. That is why it seems to everyone that it's easy to make changes to any software part even after it is entirely written. You will hear me say many times that software changes are inevitable in software. On the other side, if you wait until a bridge is finished and then ask your structural engineer to add two extra lanes, there is a good chance that somebody will jump from that bridge. Software engineering includes more flexibility than many other fields of engineering, which increases challenges. Software is built to evolve. Actually, Successful applications often continue to evolve long after the initial release. Microsoft Word, for example, has been evolving for roughly 30 years. We want such evolvement to be as effective and efficient as possible. Effective means we want to achieve our goal, and efficient means we want it to happen smoothly with the minimum effort, minimum cost, and time. Any engineering discipline is based on three fundamental pillars. 1. Scientific support provided by science. 2. A mathematical foundation provided by math. And 3. A problem-solving approach. In software engineering, the scientific background comes from computer science. The math foundations come from discrete math, and the problem-solving approach comes from data structures, algorithms, etc. Many of you may ask about the difference between software engineering and computer science. Here's my answer to this eternal question. Computer science is concerned with the theories and methods behind computers, hardware, and software. Software engineering is concerned with the practical problems of producing software. Some knowledge of computer science is essential for software engineers. 
computer science theory, however, is often more applicable to relatively small programs. Computer science is rarely relevant to large, complex problems that require a software solution. Software engineering is everything you need to do to produce successful software. It includes the steps that start with a vague idea and turn it into a powerful and intuitive solution that can be enhanced to meet changing customer needs for years to come. Stages of software development could be Concept exploration, an area where one would like to position the product. Requirements, design, and construction, part of the standard development phase. Testing, installation, and checkout part of the system validation process. Operation and maintenance involve deploying the product at customer sites and entering the maintenance process by handling customer issues and performing enhancement and fixes when needed. Retirement, phasing out the product and introducing a newer one in its place. Software engineering is applied not only during software development, but also until the software's retirement. Such stages are linked together in many different ways, resulting in different software development models. Within each stage, the software engineer performs different activities. Again, there are many different ways to perform such tasks, resulting in different techniques. Each activity can be done using different tools. The different models, techniques, and tools provide us with many possibilities to develop the software. Our job here is to learn all our chances to choose the right mix according to our project context, circumstances, and constraints.